Hello everyone and welcome to our Bible study and good day to everyone uh, thank you for coming and today we are doing our Bible study and our passage is from the book of Isaiah if you have your Bible with you you can open it Isaiah 61 verse 1 Amen we can read it together. Isaiah 61 The Sovereign Lord has filled me with His Spirit. He has chosen me and sent me to bring good news to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, to announce release to captives, the freedom of those in prison. He has sent me to proclaim that the time has come when the Lord will save His people and defeat their enemies. He has sent me to, to comfort all who mourn, to give those who mourn in Zion joy and gladness instead of grief, a song of praise instead of sorrow. They will be like trees that the Lord Himself has planted they will all do what is right and god will praise for what he has done and they will rebuild cities that have long been in ruins amen amen god bless us upon reading his word today Pagpalaing po tayo ng Diyos sa pagkabasa ng ang kanyang mga salita ngayong araw na to. So, ano po yung ibig sabihin? Or, what does it mean to bind up the broken hearted according to Isaiah 61.1 na ating binasa? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you Lord for this wonderful event. We thank you Lord for this wonderful celebration lord god that we have tonight today lord god that upon doing this bible study lord god we continue to live up to you we continue to ask your wisdom we continue to ask your anointing lord god and be ministered to us lord give us the spirit of understanding lord god upon doing the this fellowship upon doing and digging your scripture lord god uh, help us to understand your word. We thank you for everything. For you deserve glory. You deserve the honor. You deserve the highest praise. You deserve the worship. For in your name, O Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 Ayan. Welcome, welcome uh, to our Bible study. Arang pong salamat sa ating lahat dyan. At... Uh, Anong ibig sabihin ng binanggit ni Isaiah 61.1? What does it mean to bind up the broken-hearted? In Isaiah 61.1, the prophet announced the good news of God's restoration for the people of Israel. The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent us to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives, and release from darkness for the prisons. Isaiah 61.1 Seven centuries later, Jesus Christ began his public ministry in the synagogue of Nazareth by opening up the scroll of Isaiah and applying this passage to himself. This is recorded on Luke 18 to 21. According to Luke 4, 18 to 21, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovering of sight of the blind, to set the liberty those who are oppressed, 
to proclaim the year of the Lord's. Amen. Today, this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. Jesus, the Lord Jesus concluded identifying himself as the anointed servant king who would announce the good news, the salvation, and bind up the brokenhearted. So, the brokenhearted are people who are weakened, crushed, or destroyed in a spirit. The term describes those who feel spiritually bankrupted, needy, and helpless. They yearn for the Lord's help, comfort, and salvation. The verb translated bind up in the original language means to inspire the confidence, give hope, and courage, to encourage, to bandage, to dress by covering, wrapping, or binding. Ang Panginoong Isus ay nagpunta dito sa mundo para mag-minister sa tao, para dalhin ang good news, ang magandang balita na mayroon ng kaligtasan. Nasa sa pamamagitan ng Panginoong Sokristo, magkakaroon tayo ng kaligtasan. Kaligtasan ang tinatawag na eternal life. This is the salvation that the Lord Jesus brought us for us. Binigay niya ang sarili niyang buhay para sa bawat isa dahil tayo makasalanan. So in order to have an eternal life, God, the Lord Jesus, gave His life namatay siya para sa bawat isa sa atin. Both in Isaiah 61.1 and Luke 4.18, the focus of the message of God news is spiritual restoration and healing. As a physician would bind up or bandage a wounded arm, so the Messiah would bandage a wounded spirit. Broken-hearted people the spiritually ruined are in the right condition to be met and saved by God. David says in Psalm 51, 17 and Psalm 34, 18, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in the spirit. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ Redeeming sacrifice opens the way for us to experience His glorious resurrection life, according to Romans 6.8. Romans 6.8, now if you have died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with Him. Amen. Romans 6.8. Accepting His salvation is our greatest spiritual need. And that is why it is such good news. Praise to be, be to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In His great mercy, He has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ from the dead. According to First Peter 1 3. We were all broken hearted. We were all helpless. We were all separated from God before we received Christ's gift of salvation. But now we have peace with God, according to Romans 5 1 2. Amen. What does it mean, Romans 5.1.2? Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through the Lord Jesus Christ. Through Him, 
we have also obtained access by faith in His grace, in which we stand and we rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Amen. Now, we have fullness of joy. We have fullness of joy because we have the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, how does Jesus bind up the brokenhearted? The Bible explains He personally carried our sins in His body on the cross so that we can be dead to sin and live for what is right. By His wounds, we are healed. It is clearly recorded in 1 Peter 2.24. 1 Peter 2.24 says, He personally carried our sins in His body on the cross so that we can be dead to sin and live for what is right. By His, by his wounds, we are healed. Amen. We are healed by The Lord Jesus Christ understand what it means to be brokenhearted. He was despised and rejected by mankind. A man of suffering and familiar with pain, like one from whom people hide their paces. He was despised. And we held with low esteem. Surely, He took up our pain and bore our suffering. Yet, we considered Him punished by God, stricken by Him, and afflicted. But He was fierce for our transgressions. He was crushed for our inequities. The punishment that brought us peace was on Him, and by His wounds we are healed. Amen. According to Isaiah 53, 3, verse 3 to 5. Now some of us are brokenhearted because we've fallen back into sin. Maybe we've regressed in our Christian walk We've compromised our stand or we've allowed our hearts to grow cold and indifferent. The solution is to turn to the Lord and ask for His forgiveness. We should ask forgiveness to God. Hosea 14, 1-2 says, Return, O Israel, to the Lord uh, your God. For you have stumbled because of your iniquity. Take with your words and return to the Lord. Say to Him, Take away all iniquity, accept what is good, and we will pay with bulls and bows our lips. Amen. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just, and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all her unrighteousness. This is from 1 John 1, 9. If we confess our sins and he, he is faithful to us, the Lord Jesus is faithful to us. And He will forgive us. Amen. Now in Psalm 51, David sought to the Lord's forgiveness. After he had sinned with Bathsheba, he felt broken crust, unclean, and in need of renewal from within. He longed for God for purge him thoroughly. We remember the story. Noong nagkaroon siya ng, na may ginawa siya na masama laban, um, nakiapid siya kay Bathsheba si Bathsheba may asawa at pinapatay niya ang asawa ni Bathsheba para itago ang kanilang ginawa purify me from sin according to David and I will be clean wash me 
and I will be whiter than the snow. Oh, give me back my joy again. You have broken me. Now let me rejoice. Don't keep looking at my sins. Remove the stain of my guilt. Create in me a clean heart, O God. Renew a loyal spirit with me. Do not banish me from your presence. And don't take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and make me willing to obey you. Amen. This is David in Psalm 51, 7, verse, uh, verse 7 to 12. David understood that no earthly sacrifice could atone for his sin. You do not desire a sacrifice or would offer one. You do not want burnt offering. The sacrifice you desire is broken spirit. You will not reject a broken and repentant heart, O God. This is according to Psalm 51, 16 to 17. Psalm 51, 16 to 17, You do not desire a sacrifice or wood offer one. You do not want burnt offering. 17, The sacrifice you desire is broken spirit. You will not reject a broken and repentant heart, O God. Amen. Ang just laging nagpapatawad. Ang just laging nandyan. Kung, kung mag, mag, uh, magsusurrender tayo, susuko tayo. Magre-repent tayo sa ating mga nagawang kasalanan. God is always open door for us to repent like David. Only God's unfailing love and compassion could save David. The only thing he had offered God was a broken or humble heart. But that was enough. God will not reject us when we come to him in broken hearted and repentance god knows our heart so god knows when we come to god with broken hearted and surrender everything and repent what we made before god amen jesus christ knows our troubles temptation, and sorrows. Amen. The Lord Jesus knows everything that we face or experience in this life. The troubles, the temptations, the sorrows. Hebrews 4.15 says, If we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who in every respect has been tempted as we are yet within sin. Alam ng Panginoong Isus ang lahat ng uh, pinagdadaanan natin. Yung mga troubles, yung mga pains, yung mga kabigatan, yung mga temptation. Yung lahat ng yun, alam ng Panginoong Isus, pinagdaanan niya yun. He experienced them throughout his life and his death on the cross. Kahit nga ang kamatayan, pinagdaanan niya. Kaya alam na alam niya kung ano yung ating uh, kalagayan. Yesterday, today, and forever, our broken-hearted Savior is the healer of spiritual bankrupt sinners. The Lord Jesus. The Lord Jesus is the healer of spiritually bankrupt sinners. He met the, de the deepest needs of broken people. He cover or he covers their sin. He gives them hope, courage, and abundant eternal life. Ang Panginoong Jesus lang ang nagbibigay ng pag-asa 
ng kalakasan ng mga pangangailangan natin lalo na ng buhay na walang hanggan ang Panginoong Isus lang ay nagbibigay noon He heals the broken hearted and binds up the wood ito yung ibig sabihin niya the Lord Jesus heals the broken hearted and bind up their wounds kasi alam niya at pinagdaanan niya yon so alam niya kung paano gamutin yung kabigatan yung kasakitan yung mga sugat natin whether it is emotional whether it is physical wounds whether it is spiritual wounds god will heal for us the lord jesus will heal for us He is the only uh, doctor. He is the only healer. He is the only uh, the great provider for our for our needs. He is the great comforter. And he is the eternal life. The Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful revelation of your word. We thank you, Lord, for this uh, message, Lord God, that you are uh, bind up the brokenhearted. You are the one, the healer of uh, brokenhearted. You are the one who offer the comfort. You are the only one of the way of eternal life lord jesus we thank you lord for this wonderful event lord god we thank you for your wonderful word and wonderful revelation we continue lord to worship you we continue to give our remaining time we continue lord to to seek you in the, in our day by day life hallelujah because you deserve for it you deserve for everything you deserve glory and honor you deserve highest praise and worship with thanksgiving in your name O lord jesus christ we pray amen 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 and um marami pong salamat uh, thank you uh, very much to everyone thank you for uh, always supporting us our premier thank you for always sharing our premier because you are not sharing just this video but you share the word of god you share the encouragement you share um, the goodness of god you share the word of god and this is our duty as a, as a believer of christ as a christian amen thank you and see you again tomorrow see you in our next bible study and god bless you all bye bye